Hello everyone. Welcome to new video off Whiteout Survival. Today I have come with a new guide video for you. This is the 8th part of my Hero and Combat guide series. I have already made 7 videos on these topic. They are Hero Exclusive Gear, Hero Gear Ass and Stone, Drill Camp, Arena, Hero, Rally, Sunfire Castle. In my Sunfire Castle video, I gave some glimpse of troops formation. Today I have come with a dedicated video on troops formation. Let's jump in our video. First, we have to know why troops formation is needed. To get answer of this question, we have to understand what is the battle mechanics of whiteout survival. Because we always see our legion hit target and we give report. But we never know what is happening behind the scene. I will discuss mainly two things in today's video. Why you should use correct formation and what are correct formation? If you can learn why you should use correct formation, you will automatically learn what are correct formation. We have three type of troops who take part in battle. Infantry, Lancer, Marksman. In this video, I assume you have minimum level 7 troops. Each troop has one skill, which is unlocked at level 1. And one more skill comes at level 7. Infantry has Master Brawler skill, which makes 10% more damage to Lancer. Lancer has Charge Skill, which makes 10% more damage to Marksman. Marksman has Range Strike, which makes 10% more damage to Infantry. So everyone has some bonus and some weak point. How to remember them easily? Look at these building, Infantry. Lancer and Marksman are making a triangle. This is not a love triangle, rather. We can say this a hate triangle. The arrow represents who is stronger against whom. Soon. You will realize this triangle is true only in theory. But in practical, this is not always true. If this theory was true, we don't need to think on formation. We could take infantry, lancer and marksman in equal number. It is true that each unit makes 10% more damage to next unit. But in real battle, it does not always work. Why it does not always happen, before giving the answer. I want to show another skill. When you unlock level 7 infantry, your infantry gets one more skill, Bands of Steel. It increases the defense against Lancer by 10%. Does it make sense? I just told, Marksman deals 10% more damage to infantry. If it is true, why infantry need 10% extra defense against Lancer? You can say, game has given wrong skill to infantry. Game should have given 10% defense against Marksman to infantry. But no, game has not given any wrong skill to infantry. What you are seeing is absolutely correct. Infantry need extra defense against Lancer. Not against Marksman. Before explaining, I want to show Lancer skill. Lancer has Ambusher skill, which makes 20% more chance to hit Marksman behind infantry. Now you can say, this skill is very convenient because Lancer already has 10% more damage to Marksman, and Ambusher and Charge skill both are supplement of each other. So we have no problem here. Marksman has Volley skill, where attack has 10% chance to strike two times. This skill also looks convenient, because range strike makes 10% more damage to infantry. Volley can make the damage higher. But soon you will realize, Volley is not exactly same in real battle like what is said in theory. But one thing is clear. Lancer and Marksman both skills are supplementary with each other. We are seeing difference only in case of infantry. Infantry's one skill is making damage on Lancer, which is correct. But other skill is making defense against Lancer, which looks weird. Now, we will see why game gave us this weird looking skill for infantry. When we fight any battle, infantry stays in front line. Lancer stays in midline and Marksman stays in backline. Both team infantry stays frontline. So both team infantry fights opponent to infantry face to face. Both team Lancer stays in midline. One Lancer can hit opponent infantry. And using the ambusher skill, Lancer can hit opponent Marksman who is standing in backline. We just saw one infantry is fighting other infantry. Now, we are seeing opponent Lancer can hit our infantry. That means, infantry will take damage from both opponent infantry and Lancer. In case of Marksman, we already know. 
Marksman can make 10% more damage to infantry, but Marksman stays in backline. So his attack does not always reach to opponent infantry. Even if his attack reaches opponent infantry, it cannot hit opponent lancer or marksman further. So, if we consider each troops, first comes infantry, who is giving damage to opponent infantry, but he is taking damage from opponent infantry. Lancer and marksman. Next, lancer comes, who is giving damage to opponent infantry and marksman, but he is not getting much damage from any opponent. Next, marksman comes, who cannot always give damage to opponent infantry, because before he reaches to infantry, his own team infantry and lancer are finishing opponent infantry. Marksman gets kill only when whole opponent infantry is finished in that time. Marksman can kill opponent lancer. Did you notice something weird? The weird thing is, lancer of both team is not getting any damage from anywhere, and infantry of both team is getting damage from everywhere. This is the reason, when you check battle report, you will find infantry is injured in highest number and lancer is injured in least number. Also from report, you will find ambusher is the most used skill in every battle. Because lancer gets huge free time to destroy opponent marksmen. And you can see, bands of steel is the least used skill in every battle, because infantry always stay busy fighting opponent infantry. So infantry never gets chance to defend himself from opponent lancer using bands of steel. Marksman can use volley. After opponent infantry is totally finished and it is not available in front line. You know marksman has the highest damage, but marksman never gets the highest kill. Having highest damage cannot give you highest kill because infantry blocks most of the attacks if they are in high number. And lancer is totally out of danger so Lancer can quickly finish Marksman. This is why you can see, Lancer is always making more kill than Marksman, even though, Marksman has more damage than Lancer. And infantry always make least number of kills, because they sacrifice their life standing in front line. Infantry is defensive and Marksman is attacking. Does it mean Lancer is middle category? The answer is no, otherwise, we could use 100% Lancer in every battle. The infantry is defensive. Does it mean we should use only infantry when we garrison? The answer is no. We need someone to fight back even when we are defending, otherwise, there will be none to stop opponent lancer and marksman. The marksman is attacking type. Does it mean we should use only marksman when we rally? The answer is no. Marksman cannot do anything alone. If there is none to stay in front line, it will take a blink of eye for lancer to finish marksman. Even if we use more percentage of marksmen in attacking rally, the rally will fail. I already said, marksman has highest damage, but it is useless if frontline is weak. If marksman could really make the highest damage in real battle, marksman could make highest score in crazy Joe, not infantry. You can use 100% marksman only in bear hunt. Still it is one of the most risky formation. Now, we will talk about formation. You have already learned. Infantry takes damage from all three opponent troops. So it does not matter. Whether we are making attacking or defensive formation, we have to use infantry in highest number. I am giving you some formation, which is made on the basis of real battle experiments. This formation should be used when you are going to attack. This formation should be used when you are going to defend. This is for both attack and defense. Pause the video and take screenshots. If you can understand the battle mechanics, you can create your formation yourself. Now, I will show how to change formation if you are beginner. You can learn. If you click withdrawal, your troops engagement will be zero. If you click quick select, your strongest three unit will be selected in equal number. If you click equalize, all available units will be selected in equal percentage. Click on the balance to change formation, according to percentage. As example, I showed first formation, 60, 20, 20. Slide the bar or right percentage to change formation. See? Now all engaged troops are in 60, 20, 20 formation. Showing you another example, I gave the formation 70, 10, 20. Write the number in percentage box 
to change the formation. See? The formation has been changed. This is how you should use correct formation. In case of attack or defense. Let me quickly tell you again the battle mechanics. Our infantry gives damage to only opponent infantry. But takes damage from opponent infantry. Lancer, marksman. Our lancer gives damage to mostly opponent infantry. And sometimes to opponent marksman when he uses ambusher. But does not take damage from any opponent. Lancer can take damage only when our own frontline infantry is finished. Our marksman gives damage to only opponent infantry. And when infantry is finished, he attacks opponent lancer. And our marksman takes damage from opponent lancer. Infantry always gets injured in highest number. Lancer always gets injured in least number and lancer always makes the highest kill. You should always keep number of infantry higher than other troops in every formation. This is how you should use correct formation to win every battle. Formation is needed mostly in rally and garrison for fortress, facility, and sunfire castle. You cannot use custom formation in city defense when someone is attacking because you have to use all troops inside city. So, always try to train more infantry than lancer or marksman. This is how you can keep higher number of infantry inside city. Check my previous guides on this series. All link given in pinned comment. Use correct formation, capture Sunfire Castle and rule your server. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.